get some results today. Mike beating uh, Rooster, and but then uh, Rooster making it through the finishing uh, matchup. This matchup against me earlier, just kind of back and forth. But uh, Mike volume up a little bit. Cool, cool. All right. So it's it's a lot of. Um, like there's some, there's some two grabs, there's some, um, yeah, a lot of uh, fairs and airs and throws and whatever. Game volume down, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think game volume down in general is fine, just because it's not like game volume super, super necessary. But, uh, yeah, alright, and ooh, wait till thou. It's going to be too loud right there, but, um, Yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot of this... The thing about Marth is, uh, he does have... Uh, his sword is not active in one place for more than a frame, so it's not like a long-lasting hitbox like a Nair for most characters. So he is going to, uh, you know, a lot of whip punch. Uh, are you wanting to come to the All right. They're right there, so I don't want. Yeah, I don't want to be too loud because they're right there. But um, <laughs> it is it is a very polarizing matchup. Um, lots of wackiness going on. Uh, me and AM set was very janky. Um, just because like I wouldn't even say like. Wow. And then gets the. Uh, it back. Yeah. Uh, kept his jump and uh, was able to do it. Oh. Going for a ledge dash, I assume. Yeah, probably. But, uh, yeah, and that dash attack is uh, its pretty laggy if you miss, but it, it does a good job of scooping. It's kind of a lunge. So it's a, it's a you know, medium risk, medium reward. And he has a good DI on those throws. That was one thing that uh, I think me and Ann both kind of struggled with DI uh, when he came through each other. But uh, May, he's been around the block for a while, and uh, maybe AM's picked it up as well. We'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, lots of down tilt. And it's, Mark, Mark is a big guy, so he's uh, easier to combo, and, uh, but he is kind of crafty. Yeah, yeah it, uh, it works sometimes, and, uh, but it, it is laggy and you kind of sniff it out. Yeah. Mark, Mark just does a great job of, uh, of sniffing stuff out, and like, it's hard to land as Mark against Mark. So, yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Probably the one stuff that you can build off of that. Yeah, and I, I would, at least from my understanding, I would say Rich is a favorite, but he is rusty, and AM's uh, on a loser's run today, so that can always change. But, uh, yeah, Founder Dreams is, uh... This is actually the stage that AM kind of picked against me when I uh, won the first game. But, uh, this is a comfort pick for, uh, Rooster. He definitely, uh... Because Founder Dreams is always, like... I believe it's random. It's, it's at least a lot of variance in terms of the platform height. I'm pretty sure it's random, and there's, like... Sub... There's just, like... Okay. I have heard otherwise, but whatever. It, it is wonky. It is uh, hard to really predict what's going on. Some lower platforms create a lot of, like, you know, potential to shark on the platform, but also easier to counter hit from uh, above. So it's, like, all over the place. Um, oh, great. Sweet. And uh, yeah, Ooh. and that's a bit of a, a bit of a mix-up. It's like, dude, does he still ever cover? Minute in, already two yeah. stocks up. I mean, that that's the the name of the game for Mark Ditto. Stocks can just fly. And uh, but there's 50-50, or at least different options. Because like you uh, you roll early if you think they're gonna up early, but if you wait and they up early, they might flip you, and it could be a reverse. Action. So it's, it's a lot of times people roll early, and so you pick it and you get the up. Okay. Yeah, um, roll from ledge a lot of times is like the perfect tipper distance. Like, if someone rolls from ledge and you land on stage, you can tipper their roll almost like perfectly and it works out against it, which we saw right there. So, that sword is uh, pretty long. It's, uh, and, you know, Marth being uh, probably the best player in the world right now plays Marth, and Marth is, uh, you know, simpler uh, than a lot of species. Uh, stuff like he, he's just a very solid character, but he definitely has weaknesses. You know, he's, uh, not the best shield. That was a shield probe, I believe. And uh, but yeah, so 
Boo. He was trying to do a reverse edge guard, but uh, unfortunately got a little poked. And uh, Marth can edge guard Marth decently well. You know, you can uh, you can up be away from the ledge. There's kind of like think of like the ledge grab as like a box where you could be above and in, below and in, uh, away and low or away and high. And away and low is typically the best. And uh, so we're gonna see him try to shoot for that. We'll drop. Woo! And then, uh, yeah. Nice yeah. stylish comeback. Dang, Very cool. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. yeah, he definitely, uh, he likes to get into his bonus head a little bit and go for things that aren't always optimal, but they're flashy. But, uh, uh he, he has been playing Falcon, uh, more recently. But, uh, I would say he wants to play Falcon more, but fuck this is better than at least in the oh boy, like chain grab. Yeah, I mean that's just gonna happen with with Mark being so big. You you eat like ten percent. It's annoying, but it's okay. You can you can de I think you can buffer uh, spot dodge, but spot dodging in this game is like it's hard to do a lot. Of. I feel like it's just like any defensive option on the ground is like not super good in this game. And it's just hard to like, get away from things. And yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna do it. You know, low. Uh, Low ceiling. Low ceiling, and, uh, you know. Hey, I'm, I'm too far away to do that. But it, it'll be alright. Um, I thought I pressed that too. Um, it's all good. But, but, yeah, and we see a lot of, uh, a lot Prince boys running back and forth, and the, the lift of Yoshi playing, playing a uh, part of the edge guard here. And, uh, yeah, and I, I think I wonder if he wasn't necessarily wanting to uh, do the, the uh, get up attack as an uh, offensive option, but maybe, maybe. But it's like you don't want to roll and then get hit with like from that little distance. So, so and also the attack covers time that you're on a ledge, because the game still thinks you're on the ledge when you roll, even though you're not. And that's how, you know, it's not just, because like, Nick also says ledge hogging, but none of that, so if you roll, they're going to grab ledge. And so, um, okay. Yeah, uh, ledge hop back is always a threat, but um, I think AM just stayed on ledge and was hoping to that'll, uh, that'll get it, big sword there. The force smash is kind of the easy man move, it, uh, I have a habit of throwing out way too much, and, uh, Oof, that was, that was a bit of a mix-up there. I didn't, didn't think, uh, I didn't even know if he necessarily thought he'd be on stage. I think he was just gonna try and up high to that the strong hit. Marth's force mask was really strong at the beginning. But, uh, yeah. And so, oof. Oh, uh, yeah. just to make sure. Yeah. Um, Randall's always nice, but if you have a laggy recovery, then a lot of times they can just kind of like that. But does, Ooh, does get the force. The yeah. yeah, I mean, with, without a jump and uh, being mid percent on the Yoshi's, that's gonna not too surprising a result, but definitely is, can be a little, little annoying, I guess. And yeah, that lift. Uh, Randall. Yeah, yeah, but actually, that was kind of a bad spot because he was able to down tilt from the stage, and there's not much they could have done about it. So, okay, yeah, tries to let jump down air, and uh, you know, down air is a is an all right move in this matchup. I feel like. Uh, so we saw a bunch of downers there, and of course, like, uh, if, if you're in a good spot, then and it's always a solid option, but you know, we're going to see a, a lot more fails, and, and maybe a few backers, right, so, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Marth has slower horizontal movement, so if you can kind of, you know, let shot back air, you don't play. Like, as long as they're kind of to the side, they're not going to be, they can stall with side B or counter, but uh, it's pretty predictable. And, uh, and, Swingy sword, man, he's coming. And oh. yeah, that tip fair is gonna dust it upwards though. And but the roll sends it farther away. The platform on Yoshi is farther, so that might have worked on different stages. Ooh. He did the higher nair, so he avoided it. And we might see an up air. Ooh, that was a bit of a slippery option there. He's out of that. Wow, that roll was Oh no! Yeah, yeah the the back hit of up tilt is a guaranteed tipper. It's smaller, but it's it, it can be strong. And we see it very back and forth right now. Um, I imagine DSR is in effect, so we're not. We're probably not going to see um, FD. You know, that's something. If you think your opponent's doing better with platforms, take away the platforms. And uh, this spot dodge there doesn't get much off of it. Yeah, this is like spot dodge is great to get out of something, but you're not probably going to reverse it super well. Yeah, DIN allows for a lot more danger most of the time. 
side B stall, getting out, out of a lot of stuff. We're going to see a lot of side B stalling. Um, because, you know, without platform, that's so much less um, mixed up. So we're going to see a lot of uh, side B stuff. But, yeah. And, okay. Oh, good tech chase there. That's a, a, It's pretty easy uh, to react with floor smash, especially if they roll behind. You can even do a down tilt and then immediately C stick the other way because down tilt has interactive frames. So, it is. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. I think it's updating. I don't know. It is 2 1 AM right now. But uh, Rooster doing pretty solid here. And uh, getting off ledge is a uh, very tough thing to do in this game. It is a uh, you know, ledge jump, has so much lag to it. Um, you do have some invincibility if you act fast. Um, and also, uh, aerial off of ledge is good if you hit, but if you miss, you're probably dead. So it's a lot of, a lot of risk reward assessment here. And, uh, yeah, the eyes out. The, the, the throws send farther away so they don't work at mid percents. And the green mark is up 4 to 2. And the uh, up tilt has so many different little hitboxes to where we saw the back hit of up tilt have a guaranteed tipper. But then part of the forward hit has like a weird scooping backwards thing. And there's a lot of like up tilt's a pretty solid move, but it's just a lot of places. Down tilt quick poke is, uh, people say that, uh, Marth down tilt is probably a top three down tilt in the game. Roy might have one of the best down tilts, but he's just so much worse for character that doesn't matter. <laughs> that could be it. Yeah. You had the high of B that, uh, stalled out the time from the roll, but uh, that was, uh, still looking good for, me for uh, I was in May, but his tag is Rooster, as, uh, as we know. I think, uh, he used to play as Rooster, um, when he entered Smash 4, just as, as a meme, and then he actually beat me when I was on the so, yeah. he's, he's got some skills for sure. And, I mean, uh, game, in between games, it definitely transfers over a bit. The specifics of the game are, are tough, but the mental game is all there. It, it all, it's, it's all cumulative. So, and gets the nair, and without a jump, that's probably it. Yeah. No roll needed, just get the, uh, hit of attack, and that's the stock to one, but AM, I wouldn't say he's out of, he's definitely not out of the set, but even out of this game, Marthidos are super polarizing. We can see some quick down tilt kills. Um, yeah, and the you know, forest match is good, but if the upbeat goes through the stage, then you might actually get counter hit and you're kind of locked out. In the game. See, again, like the upbeat can put you enough hit stun to not be able to edge up. And the up air, a little bit, uh, you know, that's not an option you do last time. That's an option you do if you're up three stocks to one, which he is. So he's, he's not afraid to throw out that up air. Yeah, the falling down air, you just kind of throw it out. And it's, yeah. Seems like side B stalls. Only side B1, he got a little fancy there. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, down air uh, is uh, one of the only true spikes in the game, so it has some. Uh, uh, I don't think it's as much as much as much as a new but it's a lot. And that force match. Big sword move, get the kill. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this matchup is so polarizing, there's just a bunch of coin flips over and over and over. And, and if you, yeah. Winner takes on. Uh, yeah, Corgi. Yeah. So, um, Corgi is the number two, Bill is number one, and Rooster is number three. So, VT uh, coming in, trying to uh, come against ours. I, w I wouldn't say this is necessarily VT's best, but I mean, they're doing well so far. AM, he was one of the lower seeds and had a really big loser run. So, uh, it's been impressive. Uh, I, I can't, you know, beat me. I can't can't complain too much if he's taking the better mark in game five. It's like, you know what? Not too bad I lost. But in uh, actually at game five, uh, our set was uh, Dreamland, where we're not going to see four smashes on the top platform or on the on side platform because the platforms are too tall for the four smashes. Up tilt can hit because it has a higher upwards range, but not four smashes. We actually text it, and wow, that was a, that was a brave four there down. If you miss, you're dead. If you hit it, you're you live. So it's a uh, you know, very um very morbid 50 50 fitness and does get the the role you know being above 100 you have longer time to take the ledge so actually being higher percent comes into play and so, okay yeah it is one thing yeah shield grab is potential Ooh, that's tough and but if you do get pushed oh 
just it's the full one. And uh, I, I do believe the last um, hit of side B is blockable, but Ooh! yeah, I mean that's uh Woo! that's the matchup right there. You can get live at one sixty six or die at fifty. So especially on this stage, you know, if you're DIing correctly, like DIing up, you can live a long time. Um, starting to read those rolls. Wow, catching the first. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! And it's, uh, we are seeing. Yeah. This uh, is just what you call outplaying something. I mean, it's, it's not over. I, I think. Uh, oh my god, it might be. It's. It, yeah. It, it's an uphill battle, but I mean, there's just a lot of. A lot of small interactions that are going one person's way, and you know, that's how it has to go. I think. Uh, who does get the tip for back air and uh, without a jump? If he had a jump, he honestly might have gotten that. start. But yeah. Yeah, it does get the. Uh, sometimes, you know, in a ditto, if you attack second, that's actually winning. You know, sometimes you want to attack first, but if you throw out your attack to catch their attack afterwards, that can be an advocated position. But alright, and we might see a ledge. Wow. Great recovery, but the thing is, he has to keep doing that over and over again. And, you know, he has gotten it before. And, alright, actually, DI's out of that. And he does the high recovery, but. Oh, that's well. it. And a, a solid showing from AM, you know. Highest VT placer as and I see to do last of the three, so and you got farthest, so not too bad. Lynchburg top three. We got top 